All right, it's gonna be a long one. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. We're just doing a super casual sit down, chit chat, kind of life update today. I have a little bit of a makeup haul, some stuff that I've recently purchased, also a few things I got in PR, also mixed with a little bit of like a current favorites. Um, I did this little poll here over on my Twitter, which I've been so much more active on lately as well. I feel like I neglected Twitter for like years and then it blew up and I was like, oh yep. I should have been on that train a while ago, but that's where I do polls for like what type of videos you guys want and just talk to you guys a little bit more in depth. I told you guys about a date I had the other night, so if you're not following me on Twitter, get on it. But I told you guys like I haven't done makeup content in so long just because I fell into being so passionate about my fitness and health journey and also the boss babe and like law of attraction stuff. Plus makeup videos always um, get lower engagement from you guys and I want to make sure I'm putting out what a majority of you want to see, but I haven't done a makeup video in a while and have like repurchased some stuff um, so so many of you said please throw up a makeup haul I figured I would just throw in some current favorites I've been loving I get the same questions every single day on my lashes my sunglasses uh, the backpack that I wear just a lot of stuff like that so I figured I would just throw in like everything into this video it's me I talk a lot and I'm sure this will be a long one so I would absolutely love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure that you're not missing out on any future uploads but I did want to start this video just with a little chit chat kind of like life update if you will I just wanted to genuinely thank you guys so so much for all of the feedback on my last video when I opened up about my son and his like behavioral issues um, but I did take all of your comments into consideration all of the like negative or like constructive criticism and all the positive ones I wanted to thank you guys for taking time especially other moms out there to let me know what has worked for your child I am definitely reevaluating my parenting and I'm well aware there's a lot of things that I need to change to be 100% just more focused on him and making sure his well-being comes before anything before social media before my job um, again, I don't think you guys realize, and it's not your job to, but how much I work I have to do behind the scenes with social media, and it is, especially with my Girl Boss Academy courses and all the customer service with that, taking the payments, uploading my videos, I still negotiate all my own sponsorships and emails and everything. It can be very overwhelming, and sometimes I need to take a step back. This is me just being honest and transparent, and um, you know, make sure that I'm focusing on getting my work done the day he has his nanny and the other time just that absolutely nothing comes above him. Um, but I'm definitely making changes in my parenting. I'm willing to like admit that I want to be the best parent possible and I want him to grow up having an excellent relationship with me and I am implementing some discipline. I'm really trying my best on that, but you guys were incredibly kind on that video. So I really did want to say thank you. So just included in our like little life update, I guess we are not moving yet. Um, we are still on the hunt for a place that fits our budget and that that still has everything like physically that we want and that's in the perfect school district I will keep you guys updated on our moving situation as long as I keep our safety um, I'll keep you guys updated without giving you like too many intimate details if that makes sense um, but yeah I'm determined I know that I will be buying my own home without a penny of help or like anything else from anyone else when the time is right I did have to give a lot of money back to taxes that I was just upfront with you guys about so I'm trying to like recoup that um, but yeah I am hoping like relatively soon to share with you guys our home journey also a lot of you were asking if Christian got a new speech therapist he did thank God and we're also looking into ABA therapy for like his behavior um, and also for me as well because I you know I'm open to like changing things about my parenting as well to make sure he's the best kid and the happiest and all that possible um, and what was the other thing oh we got um, an evaluation set for a learning center where it's like a tutoring center but for pre-k kids so he would actually go twice a week for an hour and they would help him with mathematics literature and all that stuff um, so I'm really excited to get him in there he really likes school time like he gets his little backpack on he's like really excited about it and I want him to continue advancing in every area so when he starts kindergarten he is up to date with all the other kids so very excited about all that so now that we're like eight minutes into this video, um, I guess we can hop into the makeup haul first. If you're new to my channel, I am all about affordable beauty. That is all I will ever recommend to you guys just because when starting my channel, <laughs> your girl was broke, broker than broke, broke and in debt and overdrawing my account. Um, I just, I don't like to recommend you guys anything that's like too pricey. I like to like, you know, cater to the single mom out there or the average person who is like on a budget but still obviously wants to buy makeup. Um, so usually I'll just recommend like pretty cheap stuff. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, all this makeup in here, don't be fooled, there's not a burger in here or a salad. There, this is full of makeup. I'm giving this away to you guys. I'll go At the end of the video, I'll go into exactly what's in here, but please check the description box. Make sure you're subscribed and give the video a like and one person is gonna win all of this makeup. 
This is just stuff that I noticed. I was cleaning out this beauty room the other day and there's a lot that I have in here that I've never opened or touched. It's completely still sanitary, but I feel bad it's not getting any use. So I wanna make sure to give that away to you guys. Um, so a few things I got sent. I don't get too much makeup PR anymore, to be honest, because I don't really do makeup videos and companies want to, if they're gonna send you PR, they wanna make sure that you talk about it on camera. Um, but yeah, I haven't got like too much lately, but this company, IGXO Cosmetics, I guess they're cruelty free. I've never got anything from them before. My manager may have given them my address because I was never like, they never reached out to me and said like they want to send me something, but I'm grateful. It's called the IGXO F Yeah M-U-A Kid. Okay. So we have a liquid lip in here and a lip brush. Off the bat, like I always feel so shitty saying bad things about stuff that a company sent me because I'm grateful to get the PR, but I would never use a lip brush. I just, I just don't use them anymore. But let's see what this liquid lip is like. Ooh, gorgeous, like mauve, darker pink color. I will wear that for sure. I just don't think that I'll use a lip brush, honestly. I also did go ahead and order the Nudie Patootie palette. I know, is it Nudie Patootie? Yeah, Patootie. I know everyone is talking about this right now. Um, I really like the palette. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I know people wanna just like come for YouTubers hardcore when they launch a product. Especially with Laura, I've seen people give her like an insane amount of hate. I'm not sure why. Uh, we started our channel around the same time. We did a collab like five years ago or something. Uh, and I've seen her at like two other events since then and like no shade, tea, anything. Like she has been always very genuinely nice to me. Um, but I'm not like on their PR list or anything. I purchased it because I truly wanted to see the quality of the shadows. They looked great in her video when she revealed the palette but everything can definitely look different in person and I wanted to do my own swatches and really check it out. Um, I did not buy her first pajama, cat pajama palette, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but I can tell you this packaging is incredible. It's very um, dense and feels high quality, yet it's still like thin enough for travel and you actually get way more shadows than you would get in a normal nude palette. They included also three foiled shadows, which I haven't seen in any other like nude, just plain matte palette. And when you compare these shadows in person up to another like Morphe palette or something, these pans are actually bigger. So for 45 bucks, I really do feel like you're getting a good value here. Um, on my eyes today, I did use most of the mattes plus Uncovered, which is a whiter shimmer, but I have not tested the foiled ones. So I can keep you guys updated if you would like. Um, but yeah, purchased this myself and everything. So far liking it, it was only like my second day using it. Also, Deck of Scarlet was kind enough to send over their new palette as well. I feel like any company who like willingly sends me makeup, even though I don't really do makeup videos anymore, it's so sweet of them because there's never like a guarantee that I'll show something on camera, but I work with Scentbird a lot, who is in collaboration with Deck of Scarlet, and I had to support my girl, Kim Tai, okay? I just think she's the sweetest. I think she's so cute. I think she's so like unique in the like beauty community and she does vlogs and mukbangs and she's so cute with her little boyfriend now. Like I see you girl, I totally support her. So this palette was in collaboration with her. I love the highlight, so cute. Um, this will show up on my fair skin tone so I appreciate that. I don't really know about this lip situation. These two right here, you're supposed to like dip your finger in it. I feel like that's so old school. Like, I don't think I would really use those, but everything else in the palette, I would go ahead and use, and I just wanted to support her, so. Also, super excited about this one, uh, because Mally Beauty sent over their new collection, again, super grateful. Um, to be honest, I haven't really purchased much from Mally Beauty in the past at all. I don't know much about the brand. Um, they reached out to me and they wanted to just go ahead and send some products out to their favorite influencers, and I think one of the girls on the team mentioned she watched like my Boss Babe videos or something, so incredibly kind of them. Um, but I love the packaging on this. They're launching a new Mally Wood collection. I will find out exactly how much everything is and where you can buy it. I'll try to link down below tons of stuff in this video, all my favorites, all the makeup, everything like that. So please, if you do use those links, again, thank you so much. Um, but they're launching this collection, which is super cool because it's like metallic pink along with like a glittery gold. I am just like living for this packaging. It reminds me of like Jeffree Star, like bubblegum pink. I don't know. So the first thing in the collection is this little highlight trio and I appreciate how light those are. Again, for me, when I'm not self-tanned, I am like a ghost. I'm extremely pale and it's hard to find highlights that actually show up. I also like they took the extra time and spent the extra money to have the packaging be super nice and like pretty on the inside as well. So there was that. Um, they did have an eyeshadow palette, but mine actually cracked. I d doubt it was their fault. It may have just been handled incorrectly with UPS, um, but all those shadows actually like crumbled. Um, that wasn't their issue at all, but they're coming out with this new highlight as well, which I loved. And I already shared this on my Instagram story, and a lot of you love this one. So 
I thought that was super dope. Just to have the packaging, like, it's very dense. You can tell it's really good quality. I don't know, the pink is definitely giving me, like, old school, like, 1990s vibes. I don't know. And then the last thing also they had in the collection was a mascara. So, really nice packaging again on that. I super appreciate them sending that over. Once I continue to use the products a bit more, I will definitely give you guys an update. Then I just picked up a few things from Ulta. Um, if you guys know, when I first started my YouTube channel, I was obsessed with growing my makeup collection, having it be humongous. I would get all the new releases that came out from every new collection, every color, but I realized that was so, so wasteful. And yeah, just falling in love with doing like other types of videos. Makeup is not really my passion anymore. Um, I love doing new makeup, like new makeup techniques on myself, and I think I'm pretty good on my own face. Uh, I can't really do makeup on other people for crap. And I'm just really not into reviewing like every new thing. I think the daily vlogs and like having the footage to look back of Christian, on, of my son, like the daily vlogs are more like where my heart is, but Anywho, what I was trying to get at there is I used to do so many more makeup hauls, um, but I pretty much don't purchase any high-end makeup anymore unless it's like a standout product I've been wanting and I just like want to grab it. So the few things I did get at Ulta were super cheap. They were more like on the drugstore section. I had heard a lot of people lately uh, rave about Makeup Revolution and I've never ordered anything from them, but I did give away, like I said, a ton of stuff in my collection that I didn't use. So my blush collection is really low. I maybe have like three blushes, like for real. Like that's how much I've cleaned everything out. Um, but I did go ahead and see this on the site and I thought these peachy colors were so pretty These look a little bit shimmery maybe for highlights You could totally even use these for an eyeshadow, but this whole palette was seven bucks And I don't know which product it was maybe it was the concealer But I hear everyone talking about that makeup revolution has a product that is a dupe for one of the Tarte products So I guess even though they're super affordable their stuff is supposed to be really high quality I will try it out again and let you guys know um, also, I wanted to order one ColourPop palette. I just went ahead and got this one because it's all neutral. I do wish it had a mirror in here. It does not, but I know it's a lot cheaper um, to have them package it without a mirror, so I can live. But all these nude colors and just like the shimmery color for my lid, this is totally an everyday palette for me. But that's the thing with buying so many things, right? It's like how many nude everyday palettes does one person need? I have like maybe like 10 since I've downsized everything and that's still like how can one person even go through all that I don't know I totally get what is people's jobs and stuff but that's why I love seeing youtubers who do so many giveaways because to just have all that sitting on your vanity I don't know it seems so wasteful to me and like I don't know like women's shelters and stuff people who need makeup or who would want to try it or who could only dream of affording it like I just feel bad <laughs> I don't know having such a big collection if there's anything I just don't use for a hot minute I make sure to give it away um, did I already tell you guys I'm doing a giveaway in this video? I literally don't even know. I've like rambled on so much in this intro, but this is full of drugstore makeup. I'm gonna show you guys it at the end and I will give it away to you. So, you know, make sure you thumbs up this video. Um, but yeah, anywho, at Ulta, I did order one more palette and I ordered all this online because I always get cash back with Ebates. I literally never leave the house to shop anymore. I even started using Instacart. Okay, this video is just gonna be forever long. I'm just going to ramble off about each topic. Um, when my foot, when I sprained my ankle a few weeks ago, I started ordering my groceries on Instacart because I couldn't move. It's just like a website and it's five bucks and they go to Albertsons for you, get all your groceries, deliver them to your house. Like it's super easy. I was like, why have I never ordered groceries before? Like where have I been? I don't know. Anywho, uh, but yeah, I order all of my makeup online. Anywhere you guys shop online, make sure that you're using Ebates because you always get cash back and it's free. Like it's literally free. I know so many people think Ebates is too good to be true, but like with Ulta, I think I got 6% cash back. So that's great. If you don't have Ebates, it is free. I will have it down below for you. You can sign up. It will give me five bucks when you sign up, but it'll also give you five bucks or 10 bucks. I don't know. I'll have it down there. Be sure you're signed up. You can order from Sephora, Ulta, anything like that. And it's awesome. So anywho, um, I ordered this little Morphe palette. Really, really like that. Again, super neutral. But yeah, when I compare like this and this, it's like how many does one person need? Because I don't know. I just fall into the hype sometimes of wanting new things, but obviously I never like end up hitting pan on most of these. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Great everyday palette. That one actually does have a mirror. I'm really impressed with Morphe shadows too. A lot of you have wanted like an honest Morphe review from me because I think I'm one of the only YouTubers that is not affiliated, but maybe a bitch would like to be. I don't know. Some of the products or the brushes in the Jaclyn Hill brush collection a while back I wasn't too impressed with, but I've really loved every eyeshadow I've ordered from them. Like the palettes for the cost have been amazing. So I don't know, maybe Morphe wants to hit me up. Maybe they don't. 
What do I know? The last two things at Ulta, I did just go ahead and pick up another Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. Been a favorite for like two years and I was almost out. And this is where we talk about like, I don't buy high-end makeup unless it's something I really want and I like want to splurge. Right now, just with wanting a house, every time I want to buy something, I'm like, girl, what do you want? A house or this? A house or this? And that usually makes me just like leave the store because I'm like, oh, I want a house. Because every little dollar that you save up, it really adds up over time. Uh, but yeah, I've been wanting the Omri Z highlight for a hot, hot minute. Looks like this. I'm sure you guys have seen on everyone's video. It is beautiful. It's got that wavy texture. Um, the packaging is absolutely stunning. I think they said this was their top selling highlight. I don't know. Did this beat the Nicole highlight? I don't know, but this is beautiful. I'm hoping it shows up on me because she is so tan. A bitch is always spray tanned, like every day, every hour. She's so beautiful, by the way. I always wonder, like I see certain people's pics on Instagram, even without the face tune, without the filters, just pure, all natural. I wonder honestly how it feels to wake up in the morning and be that effortlessly beautiful with no makeup, no hair extensions. Like it takes me a while to actually get from waking up to like even like minimally presentable. Like, I don't know, I just, I really wonder what, like, what it's like to wake up and be, I don't know, so flawless with no makeup or anything and to just, I don't know, a bitch just wonders, okay? Anywho, had to pick that up and support her. And then, okay, this is probably the most thing I've ever got like DM'd about. These are the lashes I'm wearing today. I can show you them up close. They're beautiful. They're a dupe for the Lily Vegas lashes. They're just a little thinner. Vegas are gonna be more dense, a little bit more black and thick, but these are called Arison. They are from Amazon. I will link them down below because I got you because they're only 12 bucks. I believe the Lily Vegas are like around 30 bucks. Um, but I love these. I just take the glue off very carefully at the end of the night so I'm able to reuse them. So I ordered two pairs and that will probably last me like two months. So talk about being on a budget and like, you know, being resort, ew, what was that? <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, what was I even saying? Talk about like being resourceful, 12 bucks. I think that that is pretty good. Um, but a lot of you do ask like my, that's actually it for the makeup haul, nothing left. So as we go into the favorites here, a lot of you do always ask about my lashes and like what my favorite lashes are. They're gonna be Lily Vegas lashes. If you wanna go drugstore, Ardell um, Double Up 206. That's what I always wear. And then these I've been wearing lately. Those are the only three you'll like ever see me wear. I will link all three pairs down below for you guys. Also, I've been getting a million questions on Snapchat every day lately and in, and in the vlogs too when I've been wearing these sunnies um, but I thought that you guys already knew that these were the Desi black fade because I feel like everyone and their mom has them everyone talks about them in the vlogs there's no other sunny like this so I just assumed that you guys all knew but a lot of you wanted to know if I got the mini or the regular size these are the regular size and I will say they're really really big but I have a huge head which I don't think you can tell in my videos because um, some of you thought I ordered the mini version but no these are the regular version I think they're super cute I just have a big head. I'm not like a petite girl, so I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like the bigger version works best on me. I believe they're around like 70 bucks, which honestly, if you don't lose them and they're an investment and you wear them all the time, I feel like that's still a pretty good price. And I know most of you are on a budget. I still feel pretty comfortable like recommending that to you because I love those. I actually misplaced the first pair because uh, we're not even gonna get into how many things I misplaced. Um, but I, that's how much I love them, that I repurchased them. So I've been wearing those like every day. I also have been getting a billion questions anytime I post a Snapchat or an Insta selfie on where my phone case is from. It is from Velvet Caviar. I feel like I used to mention them like once a month a while back or maybe like once every few vlogs and you guys were like sick of it. You're like, we know. But then lately, every time I have a new phone case, you all wanna know where they're from. So figured I would just shout them out again. I truly love their company. They've been sending me cases for over a year. Um, and you guys know I used to work at Verizon and we charge so much more for this type of case. Plus we used to charge extra for the screen protector, which was such a freaking rip off. So on the Velvet Caviar website, I do have a discount code. I'll put it below for you. Um, they are known for like their marble and like galaxy cases that are like really popular on Instagram. I wanna say these run about 20 to 25 bucks. 
but you can use my discount on top of that and they come with a screen protector so not having to buy the screen cover separately I feel like makes it a really good deal they do have cases not only for iPhone but for Samsung as well and they have other stuff um, other than marble if you're not into the marble trend they have like some really sassy like sayings on the back of some and some of them have glitter in the bottom and then you'll like go like this and the glitter will drip down so they have tons of different ones um, these three I've already opened because I rotate them off my phone. These have been my favorite. They also recently sent me this one, which I can't wait to use. This is giving me like black, like goth vibes kind of. And then this is the one you guys have been asking about lately that's on my phone currently. So really affordable. I've always had incredible customer service with them. Um, really good like deal with the screen cover and everything. So I'll have a discount down below if you need a case or I don't know it's your birthday you want to ask for a present or get one for a friend or something then also just going along with like some current favorites I wanted to mention a few products that I think deserve a little bit more recognition and some love um, this is the Melissa Michelle palette <laughs> it looks like I've barely dived into it but I promise I've used it maybe like five times um, I absolutely love this I think she is so kind-hearted such a hard-working mom just an incredible person who does not get all the recognition on YouTube that I truly think she deserves, but I do think her palette ended up being a really good seller in Ulta, which makes me so happy because I believe she's working on like her second collaboration. Um, her along with Nicole and some other people, I started following literally like five years ago, and I genuinely think she deserves all the love and support in the world. Um, so go ahead and check out this palette at Ulta. I believe it's still there. It was in the $20 range, so I love that she made it affordable for other moms out there, or if you have multiple jobs, or whatever the deal is, and you on a budget. I also wanted to mention a few YouTubers who I think deserve a little bit more recognition in the makeup world since I don't really put out too many makeup videos. Her uh, full YouTube username is Love Melissa Michelle. I will link her channel down below. Please go ahead and give her some love. I'm always like checking up on her videos because she's so bubbly and so sweet and I'm always looking at the view count and I'm like this bitch needs like four times the views. Let's just get real. Some people on YouTube who have real talent or who are truly funny and hardworking, I feel like deserve so many more views. Uh, we can go into this in another video, but with the whole new YouTube like algorithm change, my management company, Studio 71, actually did confirm that even if someone is subscribed to you, because my views have been super low for the past year as well. I've been getting like a third of the views that I should. Um, and they did confirm that even if someone is subscribed and they hit the bell, your videos aren't always in there, which is so frustrating what it is your job and I used to see so many friends who I really love and who are hardworking and used to get solid views just totally drop and it is really sad when you're accustomed to having this as your job and you know that person's really hardworking so I did want to go ahead and mention her um, a few other people as well I wanted to mention my friend Stephanie from Babs Beauty I was also just this morning checking up on one of her videos and she is okay so talented first of all at makeup like incredible I believe she's a little bit bigger on Instagram uh, but deserves so 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 much love on YouTube she just the technique and everything her makeup skills are just insane um, and I believe she was someone as well who was like struggling with the view count who I truly believe is hardworking and would love your support um, I just want to like throw these little recommendations in here for you guys since I don't do too many makeup videos anymore but if that's the kind of content you're craving these two girls are just incredible and like they deserve your love so I'm gonna link both of their channels down below I wanted to make sure to include that in like my little favorites um, but just another product I've been loving is from Morphe this is a blush palette I don't even know what it's called oh yes I do there's a sticker N6 so again I will link everything I can below I think this was like 10 bucks um, yeah I cleaned out my collection as I said so I've just been using these and like pretty much that's it everyday palette goes with any eye look and anything any Morphe like face and eye products um, that I've tried I've been really happy with all right well 29 minutes and 43 seconds later we're done um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i usually never upload on saturday nights is anyone even watching this is this a good time to upload you let me know uh christian actually has a little eye infection and is napping so i figured it'd be a good time to just sit down and do a little chit chat throw everything all into one into this video i will have products linked down below my youtube friends who you should go support linked down below i'll have ebates i'll have some of these products the sunglasses anything that i can so if you guys use those links thank you so much also just sneaking in this really quick clip for you guys because i forgot to show you what i'm giving away so this is just some drugstore makeup but we also have some beauty blenders some buxom stuff um, I'll give all this away to one of you guys. Just go ahead and thumbs up the video and leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle or your email so I'm able to contact you. I don't think the YouTube like messaging system still works like it used to, but this is all brand new. I would love to make sure it goes to one of my subscribers. I'll put the end date in the description box, um, but yeah. If you made it through this 30 minute video and you're not a part of my YouTube fam, 
there's literally seriously something wrong with you you just you just wasted 30 minutes of your weekend on my video so you're already here just subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to get to know me a little bit and surf through my videos and check out some vlogs i would appreciate it hope you guys have an incredible sunday and i will see you in the next one Woo!